The battery in your EV means everything to that car. Much like the battery in your phone, over time, the battery in an EV is going to degrade and it's going to not be able to hold as much of its charge as it did the day you bought it. Now, if you have a Tesla, then you're lucky enough to have a baked in way to see exactly the state of health of your Tesla battery and how that degradation is going. And today, we're gonna show you exactly how to do it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. The standard battery warranty on a Tesla is eight years or 120,000 miles. Now, what they say is that over that time frame, the battery will not degrade by more than 30%. Chris from the future here, I did forget to mention that the battery warranty from Tesla actually varies by car. If you have a Tesla Model S or a Model X, all versions of it, the battery warranty is eight years or 150,000 miles driven. If you have a Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive, and this is only the rear wheel drive one, your battery warranty is eight years or 100,000 miles, and all other versions of the Model 3 and all versions of the Model Y, the battery warranty is the eight years and 120,000 miles that I just mentioned. Just wanted to make sure I clear that up. I'll see you guys later on in the video. Back to uh, me now. If between that eight years or up to 120,000 miles, the battery degrades beneath that 70% marker, you could put in a service request and they will replace the entire battery pack free of charge. So it's obviously kind of a good thing to do and to check on. Now, we took delivery of our Tesla in March of 2021, and we have a little bit over 50,000 miles. So we're getting close to that marker. We're actually almost halfway to that marker. So I'm curious to see exactly how our battery has degraded over time. Not only are we gonna show you how to do the test, but we're gonna do the test ourselves. The Tesla itself actually has a test built into the software that will run this test for you. Now this is obviously going to be the most accurate way of doing it because this is the Tesla software itself running an actual test on the battery pack. So this is gonna be way more accurate than any of the other third-party apps that are out there. Now, not that any of those third-party apps out there are not providing good data, but the Tesla one is definitely gonna be the most accurate. Now, when we first got our Tesla back in March of 2021, a full state of charge would give us 317 miles of range. Shortly after the beginning of 2022, there was a really big software update that went out and it increased it up to 326 miles of range, which is actually kind of sweet. We got extra range simply by just doing a software update. Normally we charge it to like 80% on a daily basis, but let's go ahead and let's increase this all the way up to 100%. If we charge all the way up to 100%, that'll give us 288 miles of charge. That means that we've lost almost 50 miles of charging capability. We are almost exactly halfway to that battery degradation mark. We are currently showing 59,209 miles. My oh my, that is a lot of miles to put in a car in about two and a half years. 30% degradation over 120,000 miles. If we're halfway through that, then we should be at about 15% or better battery degradation. The battery health test is actually pretty simple to do, but there's a couple things that you need to be aware of. Number one, what the battery health test is gonna do in general is it's going to deplete the battery in the Tesla almost all the way to zero. It's gonna make a bunch of noise, it's gonna spur up the fans because it's trying to drain the battery as fast as it can. Now, once it drains the battery all the way down, it's then going to start charging the battery all the way back up to 100%. It'll then be able to give you a true reading as far as the percentage of degradation that the battery has currently experienced. This test can take up to 24 full hours to complete. So, before you run it, you need to be aware of the fact that you're gonna be without your car for up to 24 hours. Now, it might finish earlier, but it can take up to 24 hours. Your state of charge also needs to be under 50% when you do it. Currently, we're sitting at 33%. And the lower you currently are when you start this test, the faster the results you're gonna get. The other thing you need to make sure is that you're using a level two charger that's capable of getting at least six kilowatts per hour. All right. Now that we've kind of gotten all that stuff out of the way, let's show you exactly 
how to do this. In order to run this test, we have to go into service mode, which is actually pretty easy to do. If you're unaware of how to do it, you just go ahead, bring up your dock, you're gonna go to software, and then where it says model, and it gives you like the name of your car, you're just gonna touch and hold that for about five seconds, and then it's going to bring up the service code password box. There we go. Now you have to enter in the access code in order to access the service mode part of the infotainment system. The code is service, all lowercase. And this is just the little disclaimer that you're gonna get about making sure do you really want to go into service mode. Go ahead and hit enable. Now you know that you're in service mode because you have that giant red ring around. I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious, right? It's, it's really hard to miss it. Let me give the quick disclaimer here. Respect service mode. This is one of those situations where you can look but don't touch. Don't go playing around in here and doing things that you don't know what it's going to do. Being in service mode and just poking around and looking around, it's perfectly fine. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the battery system and we're gonna run the test. Here to the charge battery system. And then I wanna go to the high voltage system. Now here is where we get all the battery info. So you can see here, this is the box right here that we're going to be paying attention to and living in. What you're gonna do is we're gonna hit this health test button. Now, in order to start running the test, we have to unlock the gateway. It tells you here, each of these little items will light up green as you kind of mark them off. So in order to do it, we have to be in park, which we did is green. You have to have a key present in the vehicle, which is green. Down here is depressing the brake pedal, so we have to hold that in. And then we have to hold the turn signal stalk up, which is the signal to go right, by the way. And it gives you a little countdown on the screen. And there we go, the system has been unlocked. And we're gonna hit the health test. Here's where we're getting all the warnings about what is gonna happen during the health test. You wanna ensure that your vehicle is plugged into a six kilowatt AC charger and has a state of charge no greater than 50%. Ensure some in sentry mode, cabin overheat protection, and, au and automatic preconditioning are disabled. We are good there. This test will take up to 24 hours. Duh, we already talked about that. Do not interact with the vehicle or the test may abort. This is like a set it and forget it. Let's go ahead and let's click run. All right, the test is initiated. I can hear the fans starting to kind of wind up now. I mean, you can hear the fans are going. I wouldn't say it's like, overly loud. We are starting this test at 11.44 a.m. Let's uh, see when it completes. I mean, you can hear the fan going pretty good right now. It is currently 12.57, so we're about an hour after we started the test. We're currently down showing at 23%. The next day. It is 8 a.m. the next day, and we're gonna check on the status of our battery test and see how we're doing. Now, our car is showing that it's charged back up to 100% battery. So I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be good. It took until about six, seven o'clock at night before it drained it pretty much to the point where it started charging back up again. Right here, it's, it's still showing nothing for our battery test. It's saying charging is complete, but I don't know, we're, we're not showing anything here. I don't know, maybe it, it has run it, but it failed and didn't run all the way. Uh, I'm not really sure. I did notice last night, scheduled charging was still active. So I'm thinking something along those lines wasn't done correctly. And that's what caused it to not run the right test. And we're gonna call this test a fail. And we are going to drain our battery down and we will run this test again later that same evening. As you can see, we're currently at 24% and we have turned off our scheduled charging. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into service mode. We're gonna redo this all over again. We're gonna go to high voltage. Let's go ahead, let's hit health test. Now we gotta unlock the gateway. Now we are good to go. Let's go ahead and run the health test. Here we go. So here's one of them. The cabin overheat protection is under safety. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn that off. All right, so we're good on that one. Let's go ahead and hit run. Stop currently running HV battery SOH test. This routine attempts 
to stop the HV battery routine if it's currently active. One minute, 37 seconds later. I, uh, I'm gonna close all this. We're, we're gonna stop the test. Now, exiting service mode. We're gonna come back out. We're gonna unplug this. And we're just gonna reset everything all over again. All right, so we're back in here. Health test, let's unlock the gateway. Health test, and let's run it. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Why did it stop it? This message is telling me is that it's stopping it. Why is it? Oh, it says test in progress. All right, so maybe we're good. That should be the sign that we're good to go. We're just gonna let this do its thing. We'll check on it in the morning and uh, we'll see kind of where we're at. The next morning. Let's see if the test took and what we're looking at. All right, so it looks like, it looks like the test didn't take again. We're still getting no results here. The thing that I'm really confused about is it definitely charged back up, right? Like all of our stuff is turned off. The automatic everything, all that kind of stuff, it's all turned off because we charged back up. We're at 99%. But what I don't understand is why, why we don't have any results. I told you I'd be back. So after those three or four failed attempts, I then shelved this entire video idea pretty much all together. <laughs> and we didn't try it again for about another two weeks. Then randomly, after about two weeks or so, we actually drained our Tesla down to a really low state of charge. And it happened to be at a time where we didn't really need our car the next day. And I thought, you know what? Let's give this one more shot and see if it works. And now that you're back up to speed, let's check back in. We have success. We finally have a successful battery test done. We are currently showing battery health of 88%. Now, it's actually been about a little over two weeks since the last time I checked in and tried this and it failed. So last night when we got home from a holiday party, we went ahead and I plugged it in. We were at like 20% when I plugged it in and then I ran the test. I kind of started everything all over again. I turned off the charged scheduling that I turned back on. Everything else was still off and there was no problems. And I ran the test. It seemed like it was fine. I just got a little box that popped up and said that if I wanted to stop the test, there was a button to hit that said run on it that would have stopped the test in progress. Otherwise, it said testing in progress on the screen. But right before I went to bed last night, about two hours later, I went and looked in the app and it was at about 7% battery. So I knew the test was still running because it had drained the battery right away. When I woke up this morning, I checked on it. The charging was at about 57%. So I knew we were still good. We were in still pretty good shape. I still had our charging max at about 80%. And then this afternoon when I checked, it was at 100%. So I knew it was still running the test because it charged it up higher than where I had the charge max set at. As soon as we got back from some running arounds that we had to do, we actually did a brunch with Santa with our family. I came back and I checked and we are good to go. First of all, I'm very happy that we were able to finally do this. Second of all, 88% is pretty solid. I actually think that that's actually pretty good. And our total miles that we have on our car, 60,000. We just crossed over the 60,000 mark a little bit ago. So yeah, 60,000 miles we have on this car and our battery health is at 88%, which means our battery after 60,000 miles only degraded by 12%. As far as some of the difficulties we had running the test, definitely make sure you turn off your charge schedule. Definitely make sure you turn off your cabin preconditioning settings that you have. Definitely make sure that you turn off the cabin overheating prevention feature. Make sure all that's off. I mean, it literally gives you the instructions when you're in there about to run the test. Just go through that. Take your time, make sure you turn all that off, and then just hit it and then just forget about it. If for whatever reason you do have a failed test, before you try to run the test again, I would do a software reboot. That thing where you know you hold in both, uh, both scroll wheels on the steering wheel and the whole system turns off and then turns back on again. I mean, restarting technology in general solves a lot of problems. I think that kind of helped this problem. If you try this, let me know down below, did you get it on the first attempt? Did you get a failed attempt? Let's help each other out in the YouTube community down in the comments below and let people know 
what experience you had when trying to run this battery test and did you find any tricks that you kind of had to do in order to get it to, to kind of actually work. I'm also curious to hear your results too. What's your battery showing your health is at and how many miles do you have on it? Thank you so much for watching guys. If you found this video helpful in any way, please make sure to smash that like button. It really does help us out. If you like the type of videos that we post, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to see a pretty awesome video that we did where we took the top 10 Tesla accessories out there and we tested them with like a year's worth of abuse on them to see if they're still worth your money go ahead and click that right there if you want to see the last video we did go ahead and click that one right there thanks as always for watching guys and for sticking through this because this was kind of crazy we'll see you in another one real soon